Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Code with Z. In today's video, we're given this number that we have here, and we have to find out if this number is a power of 3. And as you all know, 27 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 3. So that means this number is indeed a power of 3. So we're just going to return true if that was the case. Now, why are we doing this? Well, because that's what lead code 326 power of 3 is asking us to do. As you can see, it says, Given an integer called n, return true if it is a power of 3. Otherwise, return false. And here it says, an integer n is a power of 3 if there exists an integer x such that, for example, this. And this is basically saying that if this number that we have here, as you can see, if we can actually break it down to this, and this power, if the number is equal to 3 power something, something being a valid number, for example, 5, 6, 7, a number like that, that means it is a power of 3. So now let's see how we can solve this. So let's see what a number being a power of 3 means. Let me bring this here. And then if we divide this number by 3, that's going to give us 9. Okay, if we divide 9 by 3, that's going to give us 3. And if we divide 3 by 3, that's going to give us 1. As you can see, if we divide a number by 3 multiple times and we reach 1, that means that number is a power of 3. 3. But each time we divide this number, we always check if it is divisible by 3 or not. And how are we going to do that? Well, each time before we do the division, we're going to say, is this number, which is n, is it divisible by 3? So saying n ma 3 is it equal to 0 is like saying, is the current number that we have divisible by 3? Let me give you another example. For example, if we have 45, we're going to first check if it is divisible by 3. Well, 45 mod 3 is equal to 0. So this is true. So we're going to divide this by 3 and that's going to give us 15. Then we want to divide 15 by 3. We're going to again check if it is divisible by 3. We're going to say is 15 mod 3 equal to 0? Yep, it is. So we're going to keep on dividing. We're going to say 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Now we're going to check if 5 is divisible by 3. Well, 5 mod 3 is not equal to 0, so we're not going to make this operation. And because we didn't reach 1, because if you remember in the previous answer, we said if we reach 1, that means that number is a power of 3. But because we didn't reach 1, we reached 5 and we couldn't divide this further. That means we don't have an answer and we're going to return false. This is going to be our approach. Now, let's code this in the simplest way possible. Alrighty, we're going to only have a few lines of code. We have to check if the number is divisible by 3, and if that was the case, we have to keep on dividing it by 3. So we're just going to say while n mod 3 is equal to 0, do the following. So as long as n is divisible by 3, we want to divide n by 3. Simple as that. And once we're done with this, if the last number that we have is equal to 1, that means it is a power of 3. So we're just going to say return n being equal to 1. So if the last number that we have after we break out of this while loop, if it is equal to 1, that means it is a power of 3, so we have to return true. And if it is not equal to 1, we're just going to return false, because that means it's not a power of 3. But we have to also make sure that our number is greater than 0. So we have to say, if n is smaller than 1, just return false. Because we only want to run this logic for numbers that are greater or equal to 1. Now, let's run this and see if we can actually get accepted. And, yep, awesome. Let me submit this and see if we can actually pass all of the test cases. Let's see. Yep, we got accepted. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep on coding.